Arriving by air from Oslo, General Eisenhower, Supreme Commander of the Western Allies Defense Forces, is welcomed by the American Ambassador and Mr. Shinwell, Minister of Defense. General Ike is on a whirlwind tour of the capitals for first-hand talks with service chiefs. For the conference at the Ministry comes Mr. Shinwell, followed by the Lord President of the Council, Mr. Herbert Morrison, the Vice Chief of the General Staff, Lieutenant General Brown John, and the First Sea Lord, Lord Fraser. General Eisenhower's visit is purely exploratory. He's a quick worker, but even he couldn't produce a European defence scheme at so short notice. First of all, he needs some idea of what each country can do, and the service chiefs know the answers. And now comes the picture to stir memories of D-Day. Monty on his way to greet his old West Front commander. What a great team it was. To the press before leaving for Lisbon, General Eisenhower links the present with London eight years ago. And then we were trying to organize military forces. The great difference is we are organizing them now for a different purpose. Then it was to win a war already started. It is now to preserve a peace and to prevent anyone from believing that they can destroy the free world or that there is anything uh, to be gained uh, for them in attacking the free world.